Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. If you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I'm back with an emulation setup. This is PCEMU. It's on the Play Store. So, I'm going to go through this. I'm also going to be showing you how to set up the CD games as well. A lot of people have problems with that. So the first thing you need, of course, is the emulator. Second is your ROMs. A quick Google search. Once you've got your ROMs, you need to put them in a folder. I use File Manager. So I've got mine in the SD card. Go down. Top the PC engine. So make a folder whatever you want to name it. You can put it on your system or your SD card. I've got them on the SD card. And then pop your ROMs in there. Secondly, once you've opened it, you need to make another folder to put your CD games in. So if you ever use File Manager, you use the top three buttons here on your left, on your right, sorry. And new, make a folder. Pop your CD games in there. I say a quick Google search, you will find them. So we're going to go back out to there because there's one more thing you need. And that is this. It's your BIOS to run your CD games. So if you take a look at this, BIOS Turbo Graphics CD Super System Card. I will leave a link in the description for that. Because that is the one. I've tried a few. This is the one. I've thrown everything at it. I've had no problem with any of the games. So this is the one. So I've slipped that in my folder here where I said put your CD games. As you can see, it's there. So once you've done this, I'm going to open up the emulator. Now, I'm using a controller. You can use on-screen controls for this. I'll just show you. It will automatically, as you can see at the top, use virtual game. And I have turned mine off because I'm using a controller. But even if you leave that on, once you use a joypad, the buttons disappear. So I'm going to turn the controller on. I'm going to press key, gamepad input setup. As you can see, it's just put my joystick, my joypad up. Now mine's a pro controller. So if you click on that at the bottom, first we're going to set in-game action keys. So if you want to use a load and save, I use my L2 and R2. So you just click on that and you just press the button that you are happy to use. So I put L2. Also at the bottom, open menu. That's if you want to come out of the game. I use my left thumb analog button for that one. Like I say, you can use anything. It's up to you. So we're going to go back out of there. Next, we're going to go to Options. We're going to go to System. Now here at the bottom, System Care. This will be blank. That's where you have to pop in your BIOS. So you'll just click on that. Select File. We'll just go back out because this is what, this is what it will look like. Ignore that, just click on that. Storage media, or storage devices, sorry. My SD card is at the top, it'll always appear at the top. Scroll down till you find the folder. So there it is, PC Engine 23. It's in my folder where my PC Engine CD games are. And then you click on it, and you're ready to go. So we're going to go back, the button at the bottom, the arrow, back again. Now we're going to go into load game. I'm going to open up the PC engine. There's my games. Press your Q file. So we'll press on have a bit of Rainbow Islands. Excellent version, this. There you have it.
going to press next my L thumb left L thumb button. This is what you'll be met with. See the arrow on your left? Press that. That takes you back into where your game is. So if you want to play another game, just click on. If you want to go back to your, your normal ROMs, the arrow again on the left, pointing up. And there you are, back in. Just click on again. Back again. Also with this, it will play zip files. So if you get your ROMs do come in zip, you don't have to unzip. That's a good thing about this. Right, so that's it basically. If you hit any problems, please put in the comments. I'll get straight back to you. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more emulation setups. I've got a few more in the part line. Thanks for watching. Take care.